Hey guys, so I am bringing you a haul, but first I wanted to start off with a little bit of an unboxing. These are the Pusheen blind boxes. Um, this is the second edition, and they are holiday ornaments, and I thought these were so, so cute. Um, so I'm going to open them up right now. You can see Mr. Minner's trying to help me. So, oh, that's so cute. Um, Obviously, I've seen these, but they are really cute. Uh, so that's Pusheen with a candy cane. I think there's like eight different kinds that you can get. Um, I did fortunately not get a duplicate one, so I did get another one. Mr. Minners is still trying to help me. So there, I got the little stocking one as well, but they are super cute. Um, you'll see them later on in my little vanity Christmas tree. So just wanted to share that with you guys. So if you want to see the rest of my haul, just keep on watching. Hi guys, I am here to give you a little haul. Now it's quite an array of things, but I will tell you all about them and I'm just gonna start and jump right in. Sorry about the lighting if it's not super great. I think it's okay, but it's just like a little bit dim. Um, dim, dim, whatever. Um, so yeah, let's get started. I got some socks at Target. Um, I think these have been in like every haul that I've done, even if it's like mostly makeup and there's socks in it. But these have little hot sauce on them. I also got some that have a sloth on them, but I already wore them and I'm not gonna show you guys my dirty socks, but they're really cute. Um, I love their socks. They're super cheap. I think they're like $1.50, um, which I think is really great. So yeah, always need some socks. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other clothing stuff so you guys can like quickly see that and then that's out of the way. I, of course, told you guys that I do work part-time at Macy's, and so I do get a discount there, and I kind of looked around, and I saw these little pajama sets. Now, these are just shorts that have eye masks with them, um, so I'm going to give you, these are the print on these. They are little squirrels, and they are skiing, and they are so cute, and the eye mask says, let's, oh, let's sleep in. So I just think those are really cute. I got several pair of these shorts um, because I'm in Alabama. It's definitely going to be warm. It's going to get cold, but it's not going to be freezing cold. Um, so inside, sometimes I just like to wear shorts and a t-shirt. So I'm going to get like matching t-shirts, just something comfy to wear with this. But yeah, I got those. Basically, this is all shorts with eye masks. Um, I got deer. They are so cute. So yeah, that's the print with those, and this is the mask. I just think they're adorable. They're comfy, and I think I got them, like, after my discount, like, $7 a piece, something something cheap, but I needed some shorts because the ones that I have now are kind of worn out. So there's the Sleeping Beauty, and they have a raccoons on them. They are so cute. Also got some polar bears. I also got a couple other things at Target, but I will put that in um, later on. I'll put it in the end of the video because it's some Christmas stuff. So yeah, polar bear. They're so cute. And the last one I got had some kitties on it. The kitty eye mask and kitty shorts. So yeah, that's all I got at Macy's. I felt like there was something else I got. I bought a birthday gift for a friend there. That must have been it. Um, so now I'm going to show you what I got at Bath & Body Works. I made two separate trips. Because um, basically, I forgot to get hand soap. So I went back in there again. Um, so on my first trip... Not that one. On my first trip, I just picked up a candle and then um, a couple of body products. They were buy two, get one free. So I wanted to get the gingerbread latte. I've already used some of the shower gel and the body cream, but I got gingerbread latte um, for like a fall scent and to carry me into the Christmas spirit. I also got frosted coconut snowball in the shower gel because it was buy two, get one free. And of course I was gonna do that. I went in there for hand soaps, just so we're clear. And then I got one candle and it is pumpkin French toast. Has this, I don't know if this lid is correct. Um, yeah, because everything was like a mess in there and this had no lid on it. And I was like, oh, I'll just put a lid on it and get it. So pumpkin French toast. It smells like French toast with a hint of pumpkin. It's super sweet. Um, that's the kind of scent that I like, sweet and warm. And yeah, so it's right up my alley. They were $12.50, which isn't terribly bad, but I'm hoping... I've heard through the grapevine that Black Friday might be $8 candle day. That might be the day. I don't know for sure. 
there's so many I want to get, but I had to limit myself. So yeah, so they basically did that, and then I got, of course, a coupon that they always put in there. The second trip I made to Bath & Body Works, I got hand soaps, and then they had a coupon for one signature collection item, so I got the body cream to go with the shower gel that I had gotten before. I have so many holiday lotions and, and body washes. I didn't need this, but I'm like, I might as well get it. And then I got hand soaps. They were five for four for 20 or six for 24. So I'm like, six, duh. I got winter. And I like these, especially when you're having company over. Like I have family coming for Thanksgiving to my house, which I haven't really had before. Um, but I wanted everything to be perfect. So I got a lot of these will be, I'll put them in the both our bathrooms. Tis the season. It's another Christmas one. I got Merry Cookie. I think I had this one last year. I'm not sure, but I know I I know I love that scent. Um, Vanilla Bean Noel. And then I got Christmas Morning. So I think that's it. Oh, one more. And Winter White Woods. So I just thought those were like perfect um, to have for company and to kind of get us in the Christmas spirit and another coupon, of course. So that's all I got from Bath and Body Works. I hope to, what was I saying? I'm telling you guys, out of it. I hope to go back. Um, maybe Thanksgiving night, I am working just a five hour shift from six to 11. Um, I did offer to pick that up. Um, it is time and a half. And I don't know, I kind of wanted to be there for it. I know it's crazy, but I wanted to see it. Now, one thing that I got is behind me. I picked this up at TJ Maxx. It is a picture. Um, I am so in love with it, and I don't care how goofy it is, but I saw this, and I had to have it. So, look at it. I mean, he's eating a donut. He has glasses on, and he is just the cutest squirrel that has ever lived. Or nice paint, but huh? um, anyway, I really thought that was so so adorable, so I had to get that. And I think he was only like twelve dollars. Um, so yeah, I think we're gonna hang him up in the dining room because he is eating. So okay, enough about that. Let's move on to what I got at Sephora. I think everything has been in this bag, but I did purchase this like a week ago. But I hope that everything is still in here. I think if I use something, I put it back. Um, so I'm just gonna jump right in. I got the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder for under eyes. I noticed that I was still getting a little bit cakey under the eye um, using just a regu the regular Laura Mercier powder. And this is far different, um, much finer grain, and it is, it's really nice. I did use this a few times already, and I did see a difference with it. I also picked up, now I had like 1100 points at the time, so I picked up the Urban Decay 500 point reward. Um, in case you guys haven't seen this, I think it's in store and online, but I know it's definitely in store, which is where I got mine. Um, I thought this was a decent size for a 500 point reward, but when you really look at it closely, it's kind of small. Um, these are like the sample pans. If you've ever gotten one, I think I got Fireball in a sample pan at Ulta one time maybe, and this is basically the same size. So it's four shadows and you do get this little bitty brush. Um, I don't, I can maybe use this end to help me do like an eye look. I don't know how helpful this will be unless I'm applying like a glitter pigment or something because um, it's synthetic, maybe laying that down. I can use it for that. Um, so yeah, these are basically the shades that you get. I'm trying not to blind you guys. So you get Fireball, you get Backfire, Righteous, and Backdoor. I still think it's pretty nice because usually what you get are just samples that you're gonna, you're just gonna use them and toss them. You know, you're not gonna get a lot of use out of them. Um, but I thought this was pretty nice. I think the packaging is really cute. Um, so yeah, I picked that up for 500 points. Not bad. I also got the Glam Glow Lip Set. Um, so this is the Sexy Kissable Lip Set. This has the full size of the Plump Rageous Matte Lip Treatment. And then it has a smaller size of the Wet Lip Balm and the Fizzy Lip Exfoliator. Um, how cute is the packaging, first off? I think mine's off center. Whatever. 
I think it's so cute. It's sparkly, and I actually might put use this box for something. I don't know. But it has, like, fingerprints on it or something. I don't know. It looked really, really pretty in the store. <laughs> um, but, yeah. I do like the matte lip treatment. It's, it is plumping. I can see a difference. And I thought, why not? It's only $34. So, pretty good. I also picked up the Kat Von D bow and arrow set. So, this is a small size of bow and arrow and a small size of the, I think this is the ink liner. Yeah, so it's the ink liner instead of the tattoo liner. I've always used the tattoo liner. I haven't really used the ink. Um, I don't think I've ever had one, actually, so I thought this was a good way to try it. So the ink liner there, I think this is, yeah, this is more like the brush tip, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's in Trooper, and then a small bow and arrow. So I like bow and arrow. I don't really have um, that exact nude, um, but I like to wear quite an array of colors, so I thought why not get a mini, because I'm never going to go through a full-size bow and arrow really quickly or anything. So. That's a cute little set, and I think that was 19, um, which I thought was a pretty good deal. I also got the Huda Beauty Lip Contour Set, and this one is Trophy Wife and Muse. Um, so I thought that this was a pretty cute little set. Um, that way you can give like a little bit more definition of like a pouty or more full lip um, using the liner and then contouring your lips. So I like these colors. I wasn't a huge, huge fan of the other ones. They were not bad at all by any means. Like I'm not dissing it, but I was really excited to get that one. I also got the um, Cover FX Custom Enhancing Custom Enhancer Drops, and I got the ones in Celestial. I never picked these up before. I swatched them I don't know how many times or, you know, used them in store. So, yeah, I'm going to give you guys a little swatch. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it in this particular light. Oh, you may, you may be able to see it really well. But I've just been wanting these when you look at that, like, metallic look. And I thought for my skin tone, like would be perfect I have to play with them I haven't really used them on myself yet so ooh. Ooh, ooh. so that's kind of pretty I don't know I was just excited to get those finally because we were out of them for so long and I'm sure I could have gotten them online or elsewhere but I just waited so they were there so really excited to have that also got the bite beauty cream lip gloss creme lip gloss rather um, and this is that gold shade that everybody has seen it so it's basically just called gold and I will swatch that for you as well because it swatches crazy So that's the gold gloss. I kind of smooth it out a little bit for you guys. But yeah, that's the gloss. It is so like pigmented, so gold. That's a bruise. Oh no. Not surprised. Ignore the bruise. Um, but yeah, that is extremely gold and it looks so pretty as a topper or you can wear it alone. I would say a couple of coats alone to give like that really thick gold look. Um, but I've worn it as a topper in store, so I really wanted to get that. I've never seen a lip gloss be so, so pigmented and sparkly at the same time. Last thing in my Sephora bag, I picked up another um, three palette from Makeup Forever of the Artist um, Shadows. So this is just the holder. So, as last time, I will go ahead and show you guys those. I'm crazy over these shadows. They are, um, some people like complain about the way that they blend and how they're difficult to use. Well, they're not like the powdery consistency that a lot of shadows are, but I love that. Like, you have to work them a little bit, but I think it's really, really worth it. Um, so, the first one I got is D562 that one I'll swatch it that was a very very light touch that I used on there so I will show you again 
it's just a really soft brown. It's got a little shine to it. This swatch is really not doing it justice, to be honest. Um, the next one is ME512. So it's more of a light gold. I'll give a little bit more pressure. So they're really pretty like champagne gold. Now you can really see they're they're pigmented. And then the last one is M548. And this is a matte to do like a little bit of blending with. You can use this as a transition color. So I've never really gotten nudes for Makeup Forever because they have so many beautiful colors that I'm drawn to um, that I never really went for it with the nudes or browns, golds, anything like that. So I thought that was really, really pretty and I'm always excited to have Makeup Forever shadows. So I pick them up like almost every time I spend a little bit of money. If I'm buying more than one or two things, I'm pretty much going to be picking these up because I have really fallen in love with them. Um, so that's all for Sephora and I'm going to show you guys one more thing and then I will, I'll let you go. So I also picked up this tree at Target. I got the ornaments there as well as a little fur tree skirt for it and I think that is so pretty. I'm going to be doing a little kind of vanity tour video to kind of show you my makeup collection and so I wanted to do something really pretty for the bedroom and this is it. And I also got some blind boxes of the Pusheens as you saw in the earlier video so I kind of hung those there just as a little touch of cuteness. So guys, thank you so, so much for checking out my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what other things you might like to see in the future, and I will be glad to make some more videos for you. Thank you so much for watching, and I love you guys. Bye.